Okay, we're here now and we're joined by Julian. Hello, Julian. Nice to meet nice you, to sir. Meet you. And Sarah, lovely to meet you too, madam. Uh, Julian, we'll come to you first. What's your position within this shop? I'm the advice shop manager, so I manage it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and just uh, manage the CAB staff as well as those involved in the project. And your position, sir? I'm Chief Executive Officer for Central Sussex Citizens Advice Bureau, so this is one of six locations we're responsible for. That's, that's a lot, isn't it? Now, this is a fantastic position. It's a fantastic shop. Um, give us a little bit more information, Julian, about... She, obviously, we're here for your annual birthday. It's your first birthday today. First birthday. You do look very mature, for one, but... Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more, Julian, about what the shop does and who it helps and how it helps. OK. Well, it was originally conceived as a holistic approach for people in Crawley affected by the recession. So when we sort of decided, when we planned it and decided what we were going to do with it, the idea was we'd have the Citizens Advice Bureau, obviously ourselves, running the shop and providing lots of advice on employment benefits and housing and everything else. And we would have uh, partners that would come in to provide specific services that would complement that. So we have Central Sussex College who come in and do advice on courses we want to retrain. Um, we have the health trainers who want to improve their health. Um, we've had, and West Sussex Credit Union for people who are denied the services of normal. Uh, banks and bureaucracies who want a loan or want to start saving for something quite important to them. So it's all built around a providing a holistic approach for people affected by the recession in Crawley. Um, and to date we've seen about 6,000 since opening. That is awesome, isn't it? I mean, and people leave here feeling reassured, do they, Sarah? You, well, the advice that you give to these people is is invaluable, isn't it? It is, and I think um, also the way the partners have worked together. So you can't just you're not just getting one service; you're getting several services. But yeah, we've done a recent customer satisfaction survey, and 97% of the people that have used the service are pleased with it. So you can't say better than that. No, you can't. May I just ask, because I am being a little bit naive here, and I do apologise for that. Are you have you replaced the Citizens Advice Bureau down the road? No, we haven't. This is an extra to it. So people could people in Crawley have the choice. They can either go to the one in, in Brighton Road, or they can come down here. It's whichever is more convenient for them, really, as a drop-in. I actually find this atmosphere a little bit more welcoming. I'm not obviously knocking what the Citizens Advice Bureau do, because I know people that they've helped uh, along the way, but this is quite a nice little way to be seen, isn't it? To walk in, it's very roomy, it's very friendly. What's your opinion on that? I think there's two types of people. I think there are people that want to come in with a quick question, a quick piece of information, and that this environment is very welcoming, very open, particularly for younger people. They feel very, very well looked after here. There are others who want to keep it very private. They want that confidentiality that we offer. Not that they don't get it here, but they can creep into the CAB, get what they need and come away again. Um, so this, I think we're catering to both sides of that coin. Yeah. And I think that's, that's, that's a very valid point. I, I never thought about it like that, but that's very justified. Well, we think you're doing a fantastic job. We look forward to coming down and celebrating its second birthday. And Julian, we would like to thank you very much for all your hard work that you do. And Sarah, all your hard work that you do as well. Thank you very much. You. Given the, uh, the uncertainties uh, in, in the economy, uh, it's very likely that uh, demand for this service will, will continue and it's very good that we can actually help uh, head off problems before they get worse. Uh, if people know where, where to go, where to turn to, it can stop a problem becoming a worse problem uh, to have to be so sorted out later on, which uh, potentially can be en end up being more, more expensive for that person to, to sort out. Uh, so trying to deal with people's problems and send them in the right direction before things get too, too bad for them. Often, certainly debt advice is something that uh, is, is one of the major things that people do come here for and, uh, and, and managing their finances. Uh, it, it's, it's invaluable for some people and it's, uh, you know, I'm really pleased that the Crawley Borough Council and indeed West Sussex County Council are, are supporting this, uh, this the Crawley Advice Shop. Yeah, I mean, it's vital, isn't it, that the council be seen to be helping and you are, so that's that's all good, isn't it? Yes. Well, not so much being being seen, but actually actually helping. Proactive. Yeah, yes, it, and, and trying to head off problems and indeed an example it's actually beneficial for the council because, for example, if we can help with uh, homelessness advice, for example, if we can try and stop people uh, becoming homeless, it actually, it's actually beneficial for the council because uh, the council could end up having to pick up the pieces if people are if people are homeless. So uh, it, it's all about uh, prevention where possible and dealing with problems before they get uh, become too bad. It becomes more of a problem for indeed maybe the council in, in an instance or indeed the individual concerned. So um, it, it's, it's doing a great job 
and uh, long may it continue. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your support and thank you for talking to us thank today. You, thank you. Right, I'm, I'm joined now by um, the Deputy Mayor, Carol Eid. Hello, Carol. How are you, madam? And our nice MP. To see you again. Is it still Councillor Henry Smith no, no, or just, no, just, just, MP just MP now? Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we're here at the um, advice shop. It's their annual birthday. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, it's great an opportunity to be here and celebrate this really gorgeous occasion with them where they absolutely help so many people in so many different ways. I've heard 6,000 people they've helped alone this year. So it took, it's quite an achievement and for people to come in here with problems and to go out knowing that somehow or another that's going to be dealt with is an absolute marvellous thing. It's got to be really helpful to the public. It's amazingly despairing, don't you think? And it's an extremely lonely place to be when you're either in financial turmoil or just any turmoil where you feel there's nowhere to turn. What an amazing shop to be able to come into that will let, send you away feeling a little bit more reassured, if anything, more reassured. That's right, yes. That, that's got to be a reassuring for the public to know they have somewhere special like this to come to. And just to come in as they're going shopping as well. And it's a, such, such a handy place to be where they can go shopping and just pop in, have that advice they need, and then go home reassured that their problem's going to be dealt with. Yeah, no, I do agree. I think it's a wonderful place and very roomy and, and very welcoming as well. I, I think that's quite important. And, and to you, sir, Mr. Smith, um, how do you feel about the shop? Well, Carol's absolutely, or the Deputy Mayor, I should say, is, is, is absolutely right. Um, this is a really inviting and welcoming place, and it's such a natural home for all of the various advice, the Citizens Advice Bureau relates, Central Sussex College, a lot of the local authorities' uh, information. It's such a natural place for it to be. And this was a former opticians, and it's perfectly converted into an advice shop, and I can't believe that it's a year ago um, I was here at the, at the launch. So it's great to see that it's been so successful, and as the Deputy Mayor has said, there have been, I think they've helped over 6,000 people in that time, so it's fantastic. And I'm actually going to be having a stand here myself um, in a few weeks' time, um, and I'll be holding drop-in advice surgeries as well. So I'm looking forward to using this place as well to help, help local people too. Yeah. Do let us know when that will be, won't you, And We will make sure that uh, you know we come along and uh, have a little chat with you then as well. It's quite nice that it's not just an advice shop, like you've just pointed out. You've got Central College, um, Central Sussex College, sorry, you've got Crawley Borough Council, so it's almost like just one major drop-in area to get advice for lots and lots of different things. It, that's, yeah, that's it. That's, that's a great opportunity for people to, to come in and see those things that are available for them in, in this way. Um, otherwise, if there wasn't this, where else would they go? They have to go to an individual place. They'd have to go to Crawley Borough Council for one thing, yeah. they'd have to go to Citizens Advice Bureau for another and so on, whereas this holds all those vitally important areas them to come in in one shop one, yeah. in, one under one comfortable one, roof yeah right. and I think that's wonderful and the fact that then you're you're going to be using it as well um, to come in and sit and give advice as well uh, I gather what sort of advice are we looking at there what who should well, who really, should come down well really um, anybody who's got a particular problem that they haven't been able to resolve through the traditional route so if it's maybe a housing problem or they've got a problem a health uh, issue that they can't get resolved uh, through the local hospital or whatever it is or trading standards matter whatever it is then you know often I can give advice on how best to get that resolved so I'm looking forward to, to holding um, that kind of advice shop here um, in the coming months I think what we're going to do near to Christmas is have a drop in where we'll have some mince pies available people will come along and just uh, come in and um, and, and, and really hopefully give people a little bit of extra uh, support that uh, s some people particularly need. So look, look forward to doing that. Mince pies, I'm here. Mince pies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and medical advice, I've had an earache three months, what do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Not oh, quite no, no, your no, field. Not, no, 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 not quite my field, no. i better not give advice on that one. <laughs> no, no, no I'm, I'm getting good advice. That's lovely. Well, I'd really love to thank you both for talking to me. It's been an thank absolute you. pleasure to see you again, Carol, as always. Pleasure, Shelley. Always nice to see you. Mr. Smith, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much.